What's up guys, Pop Up 101 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add your own custom spell to the spell wheel, as well as change the colors of the spell. For example, lightning. I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of the lightning ball, the lightning that shoots from the ball, and the color of the lightning spell on the spell wheel for U8.4 Beta 8. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up your file explorer. Go to mods, copy any pre-existing mod that you have. Our spell is going to be red lightning. And yes, I am going to be showing you how to change the colors of the spell. So select everything except for the manifest. Because the manifest, as I'm sure you know, it's the thing that we need to put into every mod to get them to show up in game. Save it. Now let's open up another one. Streaming assets, default, blade and sorcery. Now we need five things in order to put your own custom spell into blade and sorcery. So we need a container. So take your player default. Go into effects. Take your Spell Orb Lightning. Go to Items. Take your Item underscore Spell Lightning. And lastly, go into Spells and take your Spell underscore Lightning Jason. Note, you only need these five Jasons in order to make your own custom spell to put in a Blade Sorcery. But because I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of lightning, I'm going to add in a couple more Jasons. So we go to Effects, scroll down. You want to take your Spell Lightning Bolt and your Charge. Copy it, paste it in. Now let's actually get to start on connecting everything. So what we need to do is rename everything red lightning and I already named it red lightning that's good okay so now we go into everything change your IDs to red lightning because these are what's actually being looked at in the inner part of the JSONs and connecting everything so that you can actually put the spell in game. So we have our spell underscore red lightning is where we set everything up. That and the item underscore spell, we'll get to this one in a minute. But red lightning, we are changing our bolt effect so the color of the bolts and our lightning charge. That's it. Now we save that. Go to item underscore spell. We already named this. Let's change our display name to red lightning. Change this to red spell or lightning change the spell ID to red lightning so that is right here save this now we are going to go into our player underscore our player default scroll down to spell underscore lightning delete all that delete everything after it too it needs to look exactly like this with no extra commas on these. Now note, it needs to be named Red Spell Lightning, not Spell Red Lightning, which is a mistake that I made when I was first making this JSON, which is why I could not get it in game. So Red Spell Lightning, Red Spell Lightning, save it. Now we have everything hooked up that we need to in game. This will now start off as another spell. So to actually change the colors, it is a little bit difficult, but let's
let's get into it. So to start off, we can go to Red Spell Lightning Bolt. Everything that has VFX or Effect Module VFX, look for, and you want to go down and look for the colors. So red, green, blue, and alpha. So those are self-explanatory. Your alpha is the transparency of the color of whatever you're making. So in this case, our lightning. If it's set to zero, for every single one of the color parts of the lightning, you won't be able to see the lightning. That said, if it's black, so if it's zero, 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 without any of these, it will also be invisible because the game does not actually color in black. In order to change our JSON, our spell to red, what we need to do is change our values. So I will put a link in the description to this website. But if you go to this, normally it's 255 for whatever color you're looking for. And this is how it will show you to convert it into these blade and sorcery numbers. So let's say I want it to be something like this, even though this is not the color I want. You convert it, it shows you the decimal values that you need. So in this case, we only want red, so we set it to 100. So now if we go back, we will set this to 1. set everything else to zero and an easy trick you can do is just copy that and paste it in for every place that says color and that's it so save it now in game our spell will be red our lightning bolts will be red the only thing we need to do now to actually change the color of the lightning even further is going to red spell lightning charge because if you've noticed when you're casting the lightning itself there is that ball of uh, sphere lightning going around your hand and the lightning spawns from that well that is this charge right here so if we go into this since we already copied and pasted what we can do now is do control f and let's search for this. Oh, there it is. Another thing you can do is if you do Control H or you go to Edit, Replace, you can replace the numbers to make your life even easier. Although I'd recommend not doing this unless you've already changed your values to something like 1.0 or 0, 0.0 because it will be difficult to get the exact values that you need. But for this, let's go through. Now that we're done with that, our spell from our hand, the ball, and the lightning color will all be red. The final step is to change the red spell orb now this is how it looks on the spell wheel so again let's search up r if we copy and paste this the spell in the spell wheel will be completely red which is exactly what we want okay now our Spell in the spell wheel is red. Our lightning in our hand is red. And the lightning shot from the ball in our hand is also red. Everything is all set up. So now in game, you will shoot red lightning. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out a whole lot. I have noticed that I'm at 190 subscribers right now. I was at 100 two weeks ago, so the channel is making a lot of progress, and I'm really thankful for that. I've also noticed that I am now the most subscribed Blade and Sorcery modder YouTuber, which I think is also super cool. 
and I'm definitely going to continue releasing modding videos five to six times a week and streaming for most of those days as well. Fridays at 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. I also plan on live streaming myself, testing out new mods and playing. So definitely make sure to check those out. And I'd also like to say, definitely check out the Patreon. I'm going to include this and a previous weapon that I just built this morning in my Patreon, which will be linked in the description. So you can download the packages, make your life a little bit easier if just seeing this is not enough for you. So with that, thank you for watching.